What is up all of my dumpster peeps? How in the heck are you guys? We are on our way to meet Beth, but first I need to make a very important stop. I need to go, I don't know if you guys can even tell, but my lip, my top lip is so chapped that I can't even talk. <laughs> like it's like stiff. It's been like this for a week guys. Like what is going on? Is my lip gonna fall off? <laughs> like look, when I smile, it like hurts. Oh my God. So I've been using, I've tried everything, Vaseline, Blistex. I don't know what else to try. So I'm gonna go to Target right now and find something that's like medicated and hope and pray that that helps. Like I don't know, like I've had like a, a cold and I have allergies. So I don't know if it's like because my nose is stuffed up at night and I'm a mouth breather. <laughs> that like it's drying my lips out. I don't know. I've done lip scrubs and it still is not helping. Like the skin is just so dry. It's like tight. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I feel so weird talking. Anyway, so what we're doing is we're going dumpster diving. We're done talking about my dang lips. But if you guys know anything, you know, like secrets that I can do to put on my lips, it would be greatly appreciated. Do they have flamingos in their yard? That is so cute. I don't know why they have flamingos. Do you see all the flamingos? <laughs> so yes, we are going to meet up with Beth and hit up these dumpsters. I am hoping and praying that we're gonna have some good luck. I know we're probably not gonna have as much luck as we had the last dive because that was just in flip insane. Was that not crazy? All of that fall decor just in the dumpster. Like, whew, we don't need it, put it in the dumpster. And then the crazy Karen, oh my lord, the crazy Karen. I don't even wanna get started on her again, okay? Cause she burnt my biscuits. I'm just so all over the place today. Well, I'm all over the place every night. We should know that by now. Oh, by the way, do you like my uh, Salvation Army North Face sweatshirt with thumb holes for $10, baby? Oh yes. I love shopping secondhand because, you know, we don't need to buy brand new all the time. People buy brand new and buying things for outrageous prices when you can go buy gently used for a fraction of the cost. Do you know what I mean? And like so much clothing goes to the landfill. It's, it's crazy. So shop your secondhand stores, guys. All right. I've been talking about clothes, lips. Let's just get to the dumpsters, right? All right. Let's go do the dang thing. First dumpster of the evening is Joanne's. Check this out. It's filled with patterns. Don't mind if we do. There's a lot of dumpster juice in there, but I'm gonna try and not step in the dumpster juice and see how that goes. Cute. I wish I knew how to sew. I oh my know. God, look at the baby, Aww. the penguins. <laughs> These things are so expensive. They're, they're like $25 a pattern. Oh, wow. I think. I could be wrong. Crazy. Oh, this must be like their summer collection, I yeah, guess. Yeah, looks like it. There's all kinds of cute dresses. Like that dress would be so cute. Somebody make me that dress. <laughs> I'll send you the pattern. Okay. Oh, a freaking wedding dress. I didn't know you could make your own wedding dress. Oh, I could. Well, yeah. <laughs> Somebody might be different. I couldn't. I don't know how people oh, make stuff in a pattern. All right, peeps. We're at a Dollar General. We got to be fast because they come out this door and smoke and they're not closed. But look at all this stuff. Holy guacamole. Tiny cats. Oh, my God. It's heavy. Can you get it? Yeah. Sunglasses. The other Clothes. things on the other side. I don't know if you can reach them. Anything else over there? There's that little oh, book thing for kids. Fudge! That was my knee. 
What is it? Oh, that's a table thing. That thing. awesome guys look at all this stuff i got the kitty litter okay i'll put it in the car and run <laughs> oh look at the moon um this truck's here but the store's closed and wait till you see what's in the dumpster we got all kinds of stuff down here we just gotta get all this nasty trash off of it all oh yeah we got cat litter all right, more fabric softener. Let's get all this. I guess just because one got smushed and maybe leaked. The nice little curved shower rod. Oh, got it. Whew. Okay, we got, ooh, it's a garbage bag. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna take all the sanitizing sprays either, guys. I'll leave them some for some other divers. We'll take a couple though to donate. Scotch spray pads, uh, frosted flake cereal bars, Ritz crackers, hand sanitizer, parchment paper, another whatchamacallit. Get this box. There's another one. That's the rest of it. Oh, is that the rest of it? Look at all these bars. I've never seen cookies and cream. Right? Oh, look at that, a shower scrubby. Oh, that's awesome. Sweet. Yeah, the boxes are just smashed, but they're fine. More trash bags. They opened the candy. Well, at least that bag. Yep, that one too. They didn't open these though. Nola bars, dipped for Nola bars. This is amazing, guys. Oh, I can smell those pepperoncinis. Yep. Whoo, child. <laughs> We're gonna leave them in there. Look at those little mini hand sanitizers. I love when we find crackers. That's such a good donation. Cause they don't go bad for a long time. And then, oh, light bulbs. Fruit by the foot's open, but they're individually wrapped, so. More of those. Baby bunts. Ritz crackers. Ooh, is this hairspray? Yes. Chewy granola bars there. Oh yeah, there is some. Mm -hmm. These look good. I know. There's s'mores. Oh, is this broken? Oh, is that what I mean? No. It just needs re-glued. That's cool. For oh, Halloween. Cute. And sanitizer. Yeah, these big ones I'm just gonna save for other divers, guys. Because there's, like I said, a ton of other divers that come here. And I don't want to take everything. And I'm sure other people could use them. Um, and I know that these are shelf stable, but I just can't bring myself to donate cheese that's been sitting in a dumpster. That's so good. Oh, I got a pee so bad. I think that might be it. We are at the last dumpster, Dollar General. Oh no, we have one more to go to. I think the posters. Are they like little kid posters? Later, man. Oh, we can donate those to Beverly's birthdays as long as they're not wet. Oh, it's getting cold. I'm so glad we're almost done. Because it is, what time is it? Like midnight? Yep. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Professional. Don't get no better than that. Yeah, I can take all of these to Beverly's birthdays for sure. I'm sure they wouldn't mind having some brand new posters for the munchkins. Oh, one. <laughs> They're all wrapped in plastic, so perfectly fine. Come on, man. I can't do one at a time. I'm freezing. There we go. We'll just throw them in the car. <laughs> yep. 
starting to become that time of year. Save some for another diver. <laughs> Come here. Oh, that's good enough. It's freezing. We got a whole buggy full. All right, peeps. Last dumpster. Dollar General. Oh my God. Do they have stuff? They destroyed it all. No. There's they destroyed everything, guys. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Well, they couldn't destroy this, did they? Well, it's a little destroyed. That's cute though. I'll just put that part towards the back. Yeah, look at that, guys. Pop it back out. It might be hard though. Like this one, you definitely couldn't, I don't think. Like, oh, all those comforters. Like they took everything out of the boxes. Yeah, I can smell the bleach. Just watch, because there's bleach all over everything. It's so ridiculous. They broke these. Unbelievable. Never ever comforted. Why would they do that? Why? That's illegal. You're not allowed to dump bleach in a dumpster. Animals come in here. Yeah, there's a cat right over there. Yeah, we've just seen a cat coming in. I'm just gonna take this. I can probably fix that bottom part, and if not, I'll just face it towards the back because it's super cute. That would be cute to hold like Peanuts toys. We could have had so much stuff out of that dumpster that we could have donated. All those comforters. That would have been such an amazing donation. Are you taking pictures? Yeah, I took pictures. Good. We are going to email the EPA on them because that is absolutely illegal. You cannot dump chemicals in a dumpster. I don't care if you destroy stuff. Whatever. That's your stuff. Destroy it if you want it. But, I mean, it makes me mad. But, um, don't dump chemicals on it because there there's so many stray cats around here yeah there's a lot yeah that just ugh, that makes me so mad anyway that's gonna do it for tonight's dive we found a ton of stuff though as you can see back there so i will see you guys in the full reveal and that's all that's all i gotta say i'm tired i don't know what else to say okay bye, -bye. we scored at some amazing dumpsters this dive here comes Peanut, trying to record. No, 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 no. So yes, we went to a bunch of different Dollar Generals this night and we went somewhere else too. Where else did we go? That was, oh, Joanne's. We had some amazing luck at some of these Dollar Generals. The last Dollar General, we'll talk about that later. Y'all know it burnt my biscuits, what we found in that dumpster. Some of these Dollar Generals I noticed, most of the stuff we got was all their clearance stuff. Like they literally just, took their whole clearance shelf, went like this, dumped it in a box and threw it in the trash. So it's a bunch of different random things, but there's a lot of gems hidden in there that we can donate. So with that being said, let's dive in to everything Beth and I found at the dumpsters. So the very first dumpster that we went to, I believe was the Joanne's dumpster. Oh my word, guys. I looked up these patterns because we got a bag filled. I didn't even lay them all out because it would have taken up the whole floor. Let me just show you. <laughs> there is literally so many patterns in this bag. It weighs like 20 pounds. Plus, there's a ton on the floor. So I looked up these. I don't know if it's Buteric or Butteric. I don't know how you pronounce it, okay? We all know I'm not good with words. But they range from $13.95 up to $19.95 or $19.99. I can't remember. That is a lot of money in patterns that we have sitting here. So these are an amazing donation. The next dumpster we headed to in that same town was the Dollar General. Now, this Dollar General, we have never found anything in this dumpster. I think maybe one time we found Gatorade or something. And the manager actually came out and caught us. It was like, are you guys okay? 
He didn't know why we were in his dumpster. I don't think he gets many dumpster divers there. <laughs> oh, he looked so confused. Poor guy. Anyway, that Dollar General is the one where I swear they just cleared their whole clearance shelf off and threw it in a box and tossed it in the trash because there are so many different random things over here. But like I said, a lot of this is amazing for donations. So let me flip y'all around and show you what we got. Starting in the back, we got three things of kitty litter, that brown basket there, the two blue or green, whatever color they are, totes, all of those holiday light sets. I believe there's five or six packages of this random little stuff, which I'm not gonna say every little thing, but we got acid reducer. We got four things of swab deodorant some safe keys, stick on phone wallets, keycaps, all kinds of different keychains, bracelets, happy birthday plates. We also got this amazing battery keeper, organizer, tester. We always find batteries in the dumpster and my battery drawer is outrageous. So I am actually keeping that. Oh, and look, we even found some AAA batteries. Wireless sport fit neckband earbuds, which those are pretty cool. We got sunglasses. We got some Yankee Candle um, car air fresheners. We also got these green bags, which each one of these was originally $10 on clearance for $7.50. That little flocked tree over there, it has like a little steel base. Two of the Santa Clauses, they are broken. One, the base has a little hole in it you can see under his foot. The other one, his feet came unattached from the rest of the Santa, so I just need to hot glue those suckers back on. We got a ton of different books and activities and CDs and DVDs for the kiddos. And then we have all of these read-along Star Wars Wars books, Ninja Turtles, Ant-Man, Silly Bunny Tales, Star Wars, Star Wars, <laughs> got rattles, an outdoor flag, garden flag, a word seek, and some little boys sweatpants. Then we headed to the next Dollar General. And this Dollar General also had an array of things, but this one had a lot of shelf stable food, which is even better because it'll last so much longer. Four bottles of the True Living Ultra Fabric Softener, a Chrome Comfort Bay Curved Shower Curtain Rod, one double fiber, <laughs> fiber, one double fiber broom handle, uh, not handle, broom, bo broom bottom, whatever, you know what I mean. One shower scrubby rod, trash bags, parchment paper, two scotch bread soap scum erasers, five boxes of the fruit of, fruit of the loom. <laughs> That's underwear. <laughs> I'm so tired, I worked all weekend. Please bear with me. I say that every time. I'm so sorry though. <laughs> anyway, five boxes of Fruit Loop cereal bars. <laughs> Get your life together, Shannon. Two boxes of Rice Krispies cookies and cream treats. <laughs> One box of Frosted Flakes cereal bars. Three Chewy Mini Dips s'mores granola bars. Three boxes of the variety pack of granola bars. Five boxes of Ritz crackers. And one box of Honey Nut Toasted Oats for the Clover Valley, you know, brand of Honey Nut Cheerios. Whatever, you get what I'm saying. The box is kind of jacked up, but the bag inside is A-OK -okay and it'll be fine to donate. We also got the Sterilite little three-in-one container. It is missing um, a little handle over here to keep it shut, but could still absolutely use this. One box of Baby Bunts strawberry cheesecake. One box of birthday cake cupcakes. Six bottles of hand sanitizing spray. Let's just Yes, I did leave a bunch of these in there because like I said, I share and I know there's tons of other divers that would love to have this for when they're out diving, whatever the case may be. We found more of these little, oh my God, my hands are not working today. Goodness, little book bag hangy ones or keychain, whatever, hand sanitizers. We got a bottle of a hairspray. We also got this super cute little Halloween decoration. So that skull is supposed to be up here. So I'm gonna fix him. And this of course is supposed to be glued down. And boom, super cute Halloween decoration, which I am hoping we start finding some more Halloween decor when we're out dumpster diving because everybody should be throwing it out this week. Fingers crossed. <laughs> that is everything from the second Dollar General. 
Then the last Dollar General that we went to, before the one that ruined everything, we got all of these posters. Let me show you guys these posters. Oh my goodness, I'm so super excited about these because these are another amazing donation. As you guys seen, we got pretty much all of those posters. I did leave some in the dumpster. We have Attack on Titan, a lot of comic ones. This one is DC Comics movie, The Batman. Star Wars season two with Gro Grogu, is that how you say his name? I don't know. I've never watched Star Wars. I just, it's not my thing. So I don't know. Does that make me a weirdo? <laughs> Probably. Anyway, we got Demon Slayer group art, Sonic the Hedgehog. Like so many little kids will be so super stoked to hang some of these up in their bedrooms, right? So these are going to go to Beverly's birthdays, other than the ones my children took, which they each took one. <laughs> I think they also took the fruit by the foot because I remember finding fruit by the foot and it ain't down here. <laughs> I think they stole it, <laughs> little turds. Then we went to the very last Dollar General and you guys seen, <laughs> they not only destroyed there, destroyed perfectly good comforter sets, which I was so angry about, but they also poured bleach all over everything, which we all know is very illegal. I was able to at least save this decorative basket, which was $12. This side, of course, is a little jacked up. I'm gonna see if my hubby can fix it for me. But even if not, I'll just take a marker and color that chip in. And when I set it down, I'll just set it up against the wall with the bad part facing the wall and boom, fixed. <laughs> but that, my friends, is everything we found in the dumpsters. So thank you guys so very much for hanging out with Beth and I at the dumpsters and me today in the reveal. I have a super awesome surprise coming for you guys too. I'm not going to tell you, but it doesn't have anything to do. Well, it does have a lot to do with dumpster diving, but I won't be actually dumpster diving. You'll see. Again, thank you so very much. I, of course, will talk to you all in those comments down below. And until next time, guys, happy diving.